TV. Oh, Sasha, you're so funny. Oh, hello. I was just playing the best game ever, or the best game ever to me, Psychonauts, which it's backwards here, but you you get it. Now, Psychonauts may not be the best game ever. I could be over exaggerating, but it is the best game ever to me. So I'm gonna talk about it, tell you about it, maybe get you into it, or try at least. Now, since I'm horrible at making up summaries, I'm going to read you what it says on the back of the box. So, just uh, bear with me. <clears throat> there were brains everywhere, just not in the right heads. Something evil came out of the lake and stole them all, leaving everyone brainless but me. Ash rejection, telekinesis, levitation, clairvoyance, an old man in my head who loves bacon. These are some of the tools that will help me break into the insane asylum and destroy the dark plot hatching there. I'll have to jump inside one crazy head after the another. Explore those twisted mental landscapes and smack around a whole bunch of personal demons if I'm going to save the world. Why? Because I'm Raz. And that's what a psychonaut does. A psychic odyssey through the minds of misfits, monsters, and madmen. Now, this game is created by the wonderful and magnificent Tim Shava. And you can buy it on DoubleFine.com and go to their store read the Double Fine action news while you're at it because it's just that cool and funny. Um, and basically you get to go into people's minds and fight personal demons which are these little kinda creatures that they're demons and they run at you laughing until they explode in your face which personal demons and personal problems tend to do. Um, also you get to fight sensors, which are there to keep anything that doesn't belong out of your mind. In this case, you, because you don't belong in these people's minds. So, you gotta fight them off. Um, you can levitate and fly with a thought bubble. And you can blow crap up with your mind. Well, set it on fire, at least, which usually leads to blowing up. But, how cool is that? That's very cool. It is. Now, as corny as it may make it sound, it's not It's not a little kid's game, because some of the stuff that happens in there is actually pretty serious. Um, some of the, the characters have gone through pretty traumatizing things in their past, pretty serious things in their past. Um, there's cursing, action. It's pretty cool. But um, also, it's not like one of those normal games where you go around, you do something, and then it's like it doesn't affect any other characters or anything else. It, it affects the character, and your specific choice will affect the characters. So, um, if you choose to do this, it will affect the characters this way. If you choose to do that, it'll affect the characters this way. The same thing won't happen with different choices. Um, and the other co another cool thing is that the other characters are going around with their own little storylines going around. Every character has something going on with them every minute, so... It's like they're leading their own lives while you lead yours, which I thought is pretty cool, too. Uh, then, I mean, that's that's pretty much it for Psychonauts. It's fun. You get to go into a shooting gallery. Um, you get to go into, uh, into a dance party where you learn levitation, and it's just a lot of fun. This other guy's mind who he thinks that everything is con a conspiracy, so... It's all topsy turvy, and the government, or G Men, they're robots that pose as civilians, are everywhere. Um, just remember if you see a woman tossing her cookies, run. But anyway, yeah, um, I'll probably discuss more on this later, but I don't want to run out of time since YouTube only allows to post like 10 minute videos. So we're up to 4 minutes already. And I do have something else I want to talk about. But this video um, and suggestion was requested by Sub Zero Ace. And she actually also requested me to. Uh, requested. Recommended the game for me. Another R word. And it's a, it actually is a lot of fun. And I recommend that you guys go out and buy it too. So if you're watching this, subs. Hi, subs! But yeah, so 
try to buy this game. Honestly, you won't regret it. It's out for PS2, Xbox, and PC. I'm not sure about 360. I know it's not on Wii, I know it's not on PS3, and I know it's not on GameCube. I don't think the Double Fine likes Nintendo. But that's the point. Um, okay, so that's Psychonauts. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is I have this idea for a challenge group. Now, what the challenge group is, is that we get together a group of people, and when I want to challenge someone, I'll think of a challenge, and I'll put everyone's name, that are um, everyone in the group, their names, into a hat. Probably this hat, maybe different ones every week. Or every time I challenge you, not every week. Might be longer than that, whatever. Um, and then what I'll do from there is I'll name the challenge, some crazy challenge, and I'll shake up the names, pull one out of the hat, and whoever I pick has to do the challenge. Now, when you do the challenge, I want you to film yourself doing it. When you film yourself doing it, after you film yourself doing it, I'm sorry, <laughs> you can challenge someone else. Try to use the same method, try to make it fair, don't just go, hey, I challenge you! Or something like that, you know, because that's not really fair. Um, so after you challenge that person, you're going to post your video in res response to mine to show that, <clears throat> yeah, you did your challenge and you're challenging someone else. Now that person will probably check if he's in, if they're in the group, will probably check their that video and see that they've been challenging me like <laughs> which is complaining in gibberish. Um, and they'll do their video, their challenge, film it, post it on that video, challenging someone else. You pretty much get it. Um, if you want to be in this group, all you really need is a digital camera or something, some anything that can film you. Um, and you know some fair way of picking people. If you want to be in the group, try to get in touch with me. Um, I'm going to try to have sign-ups for a week, so, and I'm going to be away from the 24th to the 29th. So, I think that from now till next Friday, I'm going to allow people to sign up. If you're interested, just comment here or message me here or on MySpace or anything. Just try to get in touch with me. And that's basically it. I hope that some people are interested in it. And that's basically it. Alright. Sammy out in three, two, one.